Hi, in this video we will derive the equation for centroid of quadrant of the circle. Okay, so before going to listen the derivation of centroid of quadrant of the circle, you need to go through the derivation of centroid of semicircle. Okay, so I have provided the video link in the description. You can just click on that link and first you go through the centroid of the semicircle derivation because the centroid of quadrant of the circle is 90% similar to centroid of semicircle only. Okay, only there will be two changes one is in applying the limits, and another change is in formula of the total area. Okay, so I, I am not going to write in detail of this. Uh, centroid of quadrant of the circle, I will just do the necessary modif modifications in the centroid of the semicircle to get the centroid of quadrant of the circle. Okay, I will just rub this portion. We, we are now we want the centroid of the semicircle. No? I will make it as Okay, there are only minor changes. So if you have properly understood the centroid of the semicircle, right? You can easily do the centroid of the quadrant of the circle. Okay. Now I have changed it to centroid of the quadrant of the circle. Okay. The figure is same only. Okay. So consider a quadrant of the circle of radius capital R of radius capital R also consider an element strip of thickness dr at a radial distance small r let theta be the angle of elemental strip with the x axis let d theta be the angle inside the elemental strip and length of the curve here will be how much r into d theta same figure same figure now we will do necessary changes with respect to derivation of this quadrant of the circle Okay, here quadrant of the circle it is not symmetric about any axis. I'll just remove this. Okay, it is not symmetric about any axis. If I take quadrant of the circle, quadrant of the circle, if I take G as centroid of the quadrant of the circle. If I draw centroidal axis x x and centroidal axis y y, you can see the figure is not symmetric about both x x axis and the y axis. So we have to derive the equation for both x bar and the y bar. We have to derive the equation for both x bar and the y bar. Now what we will do? First we will derive the equation for the y bar. Okay. First we will derive the equation for the y bar and same equation will be there for the x bar because it is having the same length in two perpendicular directions okay quadrant of the circle is having same length means it is equal to radius same length in two mutual perpendicular directions so whatever the equation that you get for y bar okay from the derivation the same equation you can directly write at the last step Okay, now we will derive the equation for the y bar. Okay, for finding y bar, we have the generalized formula that is moment of area divided by total area. Okay, moment of area divided by total area. So, for derivation purpose, here I considered the elemental strip okay, of thickness dr at a radial distance small r. Therefore, the area of a elemental strip is r dt time to dr. The same equation will be there. Then Moment of elemental strip about x axis is equal to area of the elemental strip into perpendicular distance. Area of elemental strip is dA, perpendicular distance is r sin theta, dA into r sin theta, same equation will be there. Then we got moment of elemental strip about the x axis. To get the moment of whole area about the x axis, you have to integrate with, with applying the limits by applying the limits. So here in limits, in applying the limits, there will be a change. 
there will be a change the change is here integration limit from 0 to r 0 to r and for quadrant of the circle what is the total angle total angle is 90 degree so 0 to pi 0 to pi by 2 okay so instead of pi here it will be what pi by 2 limit will be pi by 2 so i will write 0 to pi by 2 here okay so da is equal to uh, uh, what r dt tend to dr i have substituted here r dt tend to dr into r sin theta i have copied as it is and the simplified equation is r into r will be r square sin theta into dr into d theta limits from 0 to pi by 2 and 0 to r and i have integrated with respect to r that is r cube by 3 limits from 0 to r and theta terms i have kept separately integration limits from 0 to pi by 2 into sin theta into d theta okay so i have applied the limits here for r cube by 3 I got capital R cube by 3. Integration of sin theta is minus cos theta. Limits from 0 to pi by 2. 0 to pi by 2. So, I have taken minus outside. So, in the bracket you will get cos theta. Limits from 0 to pi by 2. Okay. So, here after applying the limits cos pi by 2 minus cos 0. Okay. Cos pi by 2 value is what? Cos pi by 2 value is 0. Am I right? cos pi by 2 value is 0 okay let me write 0 now here cos pi by 2 value is 0 minus cos 0 value is 1 so here you will get minus 1 in the bracket minus 1 therefore here this 2 gets cancelled minus 1 into minus rq plus rq by 3 will be the moment of whole area about the x axis moment of whole area about the x axis now total area of the quadrant of the circle is what it is one fourth of okay one fourth of area of circle area of circle is pi r square divided by four one fourth of area of circle now you got the total area so in this equation you substitute moment of area and the total area you will get the expression for y bar moment of area is r cube by three right this will go go off to r cube by 3 total area is pi r square by 4 pi r square by 4 so after simplification the final equation that you get is same equation 4 r by 3 pi only 4 r by 3 pi only y bar is equal to you will get 4 r by 3 pi only therefore therefore for semicircle for semicircle okay for semicircle so now you have derived the equation for y bar no you can just write similarly similarly x bar is equal to 4 r by 3 pi okay no need to derive the equation for x bar okay just derive the equation for y bar and finally you write similarly x bar is equal to 4 over by 3 pi because <coughs> as the quadrant of the circle is having same length in both y direction and the x direction therefore whatever the equation you get for y bar you will get the same equation for the y x bar so that's why i have written the same equation for the x bar therefore for quadrant of the circle if g is the centroid x bar is equal to x bar is equal to 4 r by 3 pi and y bar is equal to 4 r by 3 pi okay so this completes the derivation of quadrant of the circle okay so as i said before first you go through centroid of semicircle derivation okay centroid of semicircle derivation then you listen to this centered of quadrant of the circle okay there are minor changes okay i have explained all the changes in this video okay finally you will have the same equation for y bar x bar is equal to 4 by 3 pi sorry y bar is equal to 4 by 3 pi and x bar is equal to same equation 4 by 3 pi for the 
quadrant of the circle okay thank you